Welcome to Electronic Ed YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to see frequency response of single stage RC coupled common emitter BJT amplifier in low, mid and high frequency regions. First let's draw the circuit diagram of RC coupled BJT amplifier. Now let's analysis function of each element. Bipolar junction transistor is in self bias common emitter configuration. R1 and R2 are called as potential divider resistors, they give Thevenin's voltage V in equals VCC times R2 divided by R1 plus R2, and resistance RTH equals R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. RC is called as collector bias resistor, it is used to make the transistor operate in active region. For active region, VCE is directly proportional to VCC by 2. RE is called as emitter stabilized bias resistor, it improves the DC bias stability. Stability equals 1 plus beta by 1 plus beta times RE by RB plus RE. CE is called as bypass capacitor, it increases the AC gain. CC1 and CC2 are called as coupling capacitors, they are used to couple signal sources and load, so that the DC bias of the BJT is unaltered. RS and RL are signal resistance and load resistance. CI is called as internal parasitic capacitance due to BJT. CSH is shunt capacitor, it is used to get the desired bandwidth. Frequency response of the amplifier. The plot of gain versus frequency is called as frequency response. It indicates how the transistor amplifier responds to different frequencies. The functionality of the capacitors for different frequencies regions is as shown below. The capacitors CC1, CC2 and CE capacitors are all microfarads capacitors, and this capacitors functions effectively in low frequencies regions. And at mid and high frequencies they act as short circuits. The capacitors CI and CSH capacitors are picofarad capacitors, and this capacitors functions effectively in high frequencies regions. And at low and mid frequency regions they act as open circuit. Hence microfarads capacitors are effective in low frequency regions and picofarads capacitors are effective in high frequency regions. Now let's see the analysis of mid frequency region. In mid frequency region, the microfarads are short circuited and picofarads are open circuited. For AC analysis, short circuit the DC voltage source. Replace BJT with approximate hybrid model and we will redraw it. We already know that to find the voltage gain using hybrid model is ratio of output voltage by input voltage, therefore AVM equals output voltage by input voltage. So, apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to the output side of hybrid model we get minus HFE IB times R prime L by HIE times IB. As IB is common we can cancel it. So the final equation is AVM equals minus HFE times R prime L by HIE. So we get the graph as shown. Since, the above equation is independent of frequency. AVM is constant as frequency gets increased. Now let's analysis low frequency region. In low frequency region, picofarad capacitors acts as open circuit and microfarad capacitors are considered one at a time. For AC analysis, short circuit the DC voltage source. Replace BJT with approximate H parameter model. When CE is considered, the effect due to CC1 and CC2 are neglected. Hence we get the following figure. Since, the reactance of the capacitor is very small for AC, the resistor RE which is in parallel can be neglected. So, we can write as RE parallel to capacitor that is 1 by J omega CE, when RE is neglected, then 1 by J omega CE is left. So, we can write voltage gain at low frequency can be written as minus HFE IB times R prime L, by HIE IB plus 1 plus HFE times IB times 1 by J omega CE. When we simplify the equation we get voltage gain at low frequency equal. AVM times 1 by 1 minus JFL by F, as voltage gain is directly proportional to frequency. So, as the voltage gain increases frequency also increases. So we get the graph as shown. Now the final analysis of amplifier in high frequency region. 
In high-frequency region microfarads capacitor are short-circuited and picofarad capacitors are considered one at a time. For AC analysis short-circuit DC voltage sources and BJT with the approximate hybrid pi model. When CSH is considered, the effect due to CI is neglected. So, we get the below circuit. And if we try to solve the voltage gain and simplify it we get the final equation as AVH equals AVM by 1 plus JF by FH. So we get the graph as shown. From mid, low and high frequency graphs we get the overall frequency response as shown. The plot of gain versus frequency is called as frequency response. The frequency at which the gain is 1 by root 2 times the mid value is called as cutoff frequency. There are two such cutoff frequencies, higher and lower frequencies. The bandwidth between these two frequencies is called as bandwidth. That is bandwidth equal to FH minus FL. This the end of the video, if you find the video helpful please is like the video and subscribe the channel.